Hello everybody, I'm in the Littlewood, also known as Martin, so I know in the UK right now it's probably some time of around sort of like 1 or 2 a.m., maybe even later than that. Uh, right here in Canada right now, we've just arrived, it's 25 minutes past 10, and this hotel room is very cool, it's quite dark and like, you know, shaded with the lighting, like the, the corridor is basically really bright, look at that, superly bright, and then you get into here and it's all like mood lighting, like it's literally just lamps, it's uh... It's, it's really nice. It's re oh, it's, this is kind of crazy already still. Um, but yeah, there you go. So you've got like the insanely huge bed. You've got lamps and stuff like that. There's a big TV just there. And you've got like a really nice long open desk. And there's a coffee machine. And there's there's not really a mini fridge. There's like a mini bar thing just here. I'm not going to touch a single thing on that. Because <laughs> I'll probably get into trouble. I should show you the best thing actually. Um, well, two of the best things. One... I thought this was like a cleaning cupboard and I was a little bit worried about going into it. But this is actually just a separate toilet, which is kind of unique. I've never really seen that before. Most people just shove everything in the same place. And then I welcome you to probably one of the coolest bathrooms I've ever walked into. Ah, oh, look at this place. It's absolutely insane. Like, you've got the bath there, you've got really nice like black tiles on the wall and stuff like that. Um, this mirror is like nuts. You've got like... Two bars either side here, you've got just lots of stuff along there, and then you've got this huge walk-in shower. So this is literally the entire of the walk-in shower. There's loads of space, it's absolutely nuts. And, uh, and yeah, so there you go. I thought I would just quickly pop this up on the second channel. I don't know how many people are gonna see this. Uh, let, make sure you leave a comment if you see it, because I don't know uh, how many people are actually up at this time, because I suppose now I'm working on the American and Canadian time zone, I guess, for the next couple of days. Um, so you have to know what time it is to you right now so I can gauge the difference. So like here it's 10.25pm. Uh, so that will be interesting. But I'm going to go back into the super mood. Like even the roof is like... I don't... What is that? Hold on, let me take my shoes off. Let me take my shoes off. Hold on a second. Uh, oh, yeah, the roof's really weird. It's like a, a glazed over cement, <laughs> if you can call it that. It's very strange. We've got the little street down here. I wanted to try and like, switch the camera there, but you can see some kind of like, I don't know, is that, it's like a cinema or an office or something? There's like red strobing lights on the floor. We've got this like red tower of death just outside the window just there. And uh, the first thing actually, a lot of, uh, the first thing I noticed when we arrived here at the hotel is a lot of people said that we should go to Tim Hortons to get either like a hot chocolate or a coffee or a latte, anything. Absolutely anything drinks wise from there. Oh my God, I've got cool light here. Oh, it looks kind of weird. I feel like I'm that girl from the Paranormal Activity trailer. That weird kid standing outside again. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, like I was saying, um, a lot of people said, oh my God, this does not scary. Let me tell you a tale. <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I'm tired. I'm overtired. We we flew for like six, seven hours. I think all together it ended up being that long just because there was a delay. Literally, I mean, you'll see this in the main vlog as well. I vlogged in the airport, like full on, like not even just my iPhone. I full on got my camera out. I vlogged in the airport and apparently when I did it, there was just like this big circle around me that nobody would walk in. Like, it was like I had a force field when I vlogged because either people thought I was nuts or they just didn't want to be in a vlog or anything like that. So that was kind of funny. Um... <clears throat> But yeah, so, what was I saying? Tim Hortons, yeah, Tim Hortons, so, um, yeah, basically, I'm gonna go get a hot chocolate from there, there's like a gas station that's just like a couple, uh, it's not even like a block up, it's literally like, you come out this building, cross the insanely big road, by the way, that's weird, and then you've got the Tim Hortons gas station type thing, so, I don't know if you have, I don't know if they've got like a walking place, it looks like it's just drive through so... I might have to uh, steal a child's scooter so I can actually, like, you know, have some kind of form of wheels in order to go into it, which would be pretty cool. Um, other than that, not really up to much. I need to actually go and get a plug adapter from Hannah because you use these weird ones, the ones that sort of look like two sticks, I guess. So I'm going to have to go and get some of those. And, uh, yeah, other than that, the flight was great. Loads of space. Basically, today, we've broken everything. Um, but we've also had amazing leg room as well. So, like, today... Um, on the train, disabled seating, we had loads of leg room there because it was like three rows worth to, for where a wheelchair would be. But no, it was just our legs that were there, which was really cool. And then we got onto the Heathrow Express, very spacious anyway, so that one wasn't too much to rave about. And then for uh, our thing today, basically it was 
Ben, Ben's the guy from Ubisoft, by the way. It was Ben, Hannah, and then me. We were all on the aisle seats, and apparently nobody was buying in sets of two. So literally, we had three rows just for the three of us, and it was just so cool. Like, I was spread out on it, and it was awesome. And the guy that was like the air hostess, dude, person, thing, um, <clears throat> I can honestly swear to you that I've never seen someone hate me so much without actually saying it like he looked at me basically he handed me some food and i was like okay that's cool i put the food down i already had a drink i already had like a bottle of water uh, that he'd given to me earlier on and i still had the plastic cup so i got the food off him and didn't take my headphones off i was just like oh thank you like you know put it down started eating it and then i look up and he's just there like staring at me as if to say you're a dickhead and i was like what i was like i just looked up and went oh sorry what and he was like, oh, uh, would you like a drink and stuff? But as he said it, like, his eyes just sort of, like, flared up. As if, like, the you know, the gates of hell themselves have opened. <laughs> but, yeah. So, uh, so, yeah, so that was kind of interesting. But he got over it. I was, I was in my own world for most of it. I watched the film Brave. That was good. I watched Brave, uh, obviously not in 3D. The screen was, like, squared to begin with. This is a 16x9 video. Uh, but Brave was really, really good. Kind of. Like, I was expecting it to be like, you know, she overcomes bravery in order to do it. I don't understand where the name Brave came from, because I can do spoilers now. It's out on DVD. Her mum turns into a bear, and then it's about her getting her back to being normal. That's not what I expected from the trailer. Like, I saw her, like, riding on the back of horses, you know, shooting arrows. And I was thinking, yeah, she's going to go on, like, this huge, crazy adventure. But she doesn't venture any further than a couple of miles, or at least it seems that way away from the main castle and it's i don't know it, it just wasn't what i was expecting which was kind of annoying um and then i listened to like a 90 minute radio show with a guy called roberto he's one of my favorite radio presenters ever um and it was like a british airways top 40 chart show which was pretty cool i, I quite like that they had their own little thing going on they had their own like beds their own jingles they had voiceovers they had the actual presenter um, and yeah, it was it was pretty legit. I listened to the whole thing whilst I was playing some uh, Binding of Isaac. That's what I played. I loaded it up on my MacBook, which is now dead. My poor little MacBook is dead. I don't even know if you can see it. It's that dark. It's like the screen's there, kind of. I don't know. It's weird. It's I don't. Why is it so dark in this room? I don't get it. It's like they've got lights everywhere, even inside of this like wardrobe, but they don't have them like above the main floor. Does 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 this look like I'm doing a handstand? Hold on. If I do this. Uh, hold on a second. Uh, how's, how's it going, everybody? I'm just uh, doing handstand vlogs today. Uh, no, nah, I don't know. I'm speaking quietly because I don't know if anybody's asleep yet. They probably are, but that's fine. But um, but yeah, we're in Montreal. This is this is still very very crazy. I had a moment actually on the plane where the plane tipped sideways. Not like you know anything crazy. It just turned sideways to start turning into Montreal. And basically, I was already looking out of the window and stuff, and you can see, like, the beautiful, like, lighting of the cities and stuff. And then it did the full turn, and then everything just revealed itself to me at once, and I just had, like, this, like, mega moment. I was like, holy fuck, Montreal, you are sexy. And just, I, I don't know, I, I just, again... I, it's weird. I don't want to compare myself to him, but you know that Felix guy, how he said you have to get really high to realise how small you are? I kind of had one of those moments because I just go to go into a little basement office every day and there's just eight of us there and that's it. And then we come out here and then I look at an entire city. I mean, this arguably from a plane looks bigger than London, but it's probably not, but it looked like it was. And, um, and one of my favourite things ever, like, to look at is night lights. So, and it's weird. I've, I've always had this thing, like, when we were coming back from my mum's half of the family in Manchester, in the car on the way home, we'd see all the street lights, you'd see the night light, and <clears throat> on the motorway, and then you have the, you know, have really nice warm uh, air con on, or whatever, and then you have some, like, really, like, chilled music playing, and that's one of, like, the fondest memories I have, like, ever. And I kind of had that moment again. So one, I had a moment of feeling like a kid. Two, I had a moment of realisation of where I am and what I'm doing. And three, I had a moment of realisation of how small I am in the grand scheme of things. And 
yeah, I totally see what the feeling this guy was saying. You know, you have to get very high to realise how small you are. It was, yeah, yeah. I had, I had a, what was it? I think Hannah described it as a meta moment or something like that. It's basically just an, a moment of epicness and awesome. Um, so that's really cool. So basically, I'm going to crash now. I'm pretty tired in all honesty. Um, so I'm going to crash. Probably going to wake up tomorrow. We'll get, like, the breakfast and... I'm going to shoot off to Ubisoft. Oh, sorry, last thing. I totally forgot to tell you about this. Flynn, awesome dude at the airport who came to welcome me and Hannah and Ben to Canada. We tweeted out that we were going to be arriving at a certain time. And we ended up arriving like an hour later than we expected to be. Um, so, you know, maybe some people had come to say hello to us and we, you know, we didn't get in until a certain time. Um, but yeah, there was this one guy at the at the thing when we got out of the event, this guy called Flynn, and he was a sapling. Like, he literally, he said he was a sapling before he said he was a yognaut, which I thought was really, really cool. And like, you know, he knows everything about all of our tech it series and just like, you know, he, was, he even mentioned Dante. We were talking about bringing Dante back and like talking about cots and... Uh, he was he was just a really cool dude, so I'm going to try and hook him up with a load of stuff like, you know, troubling Mindville stuff, you know, Minecraft Survival Games server stuff. I want to get him like a premium membership on a couple of things just as a way of, of saying thank you, and I've never had that before. I've never had somebody at the airport welcoming me to a country or just saying hello. I, it's weird. It was really cool and really weird. Um, so yeah, so sorry if you did wait around and then we didn't turn up and then you had to leave and stuff like that. Um, but it was all completely out of our hands. Everything that we travelled on today has had issues, which has been a little bit worrying, but it all ended up working out for the best. So, uh, so yeah, wow, this is a really long vlog. I suppose I have done a lot of travelling today, and you are going to see more stuff. Uh, there's some funny stuff that we did in the airport, and I'm assuming there's going to be some funny stuff over the next couple of days. So I'll end up putting out some vlogs on, uh, you know... On, on the channel of what we've been up to which will be cool so have an awesome evening have an awesome morning if you're watching this as you wake up most likely and uh, i shall see you all in a little bit bye <laughs>